To all my friends and colleagues in the world of technology, this is Jason Samoliano of Smarter Incorporated. Let's talk TIBCO. This is a tutorial in which I will show you how to send and receive JMS messages. Now, if you have no idea what messaging is about, what JMS is, I encourage you first of all to go and watch my video titled what is messaging that will be very beneficial to you to give you some background on what enterprise messaging is all about if you have no idea what JMS is I encourage you to use Google and look up what that means so in this tutorial I'm assuming you know what JMS is and you know what enterprise messaging is so I'm not gonna have to explain that here okay I'm going to show you how to send and receive JMS messages in TIBCO so let's move right on we don't have a lot of time let's go to the smarter typical tutorials typical designer project that we've created in previous tutorials and I'm gonna jump right in I'm gonna show you first of all how to send a JMSQ message in order to send a JMSQ message let's move on to this process definition here I have an empty process so follow along with me I'm going to go very quickly because YouTube limits the amount of time, the, the amount of length each video can be. So add a resource, go to JMS, JMS Q Sender. And you'll notice one of the required fields is a JMS connection. So we're going to have to create that before we can proceed. So let's move right on. Go to the connections folder underneath the shared resources folder here. Let us create a folder called, let's call this one JMS. Inside the JMS folder, I'm going to create a JMS connection resource. I don't like spaces in my shared resources, so I'm going to remove that space. And very simply, I'm going to connect this. I'm going to change this to TCP colon slash slash localhost colon 7222. Now what does that mean? You'll notice here I am going to show you that I have another typical product called TIBCO EMS, TIBCO Enterprise Message Service. Let's see in my services here. Do you see this right here? This TIBCO EMS server? I'm going to start that and that's going to start the typical EMS server that I have installed. You have to start that before you can proceed to connecting to that JMS, ser to JMS server. So I'm going to click on test connection here and this should connect. You will get a successful message there. And then we're going to go back to my process. I'm so sorry that I'm going very fast here. There's a lot to cover and I don't have a lot of time. So follow along. Pause if you need to. So I'm going to connect the lines here and I'm going to configure my JMSQ sender. I'm going to give a reference to the JMS connection resource and I'm going to simply specify here uh, Q sample okay so I'm go I'm that this is the destination queue in which the message will be stored in the EMS server in the input I'm gonna make it very simple I'm gonna put here hello world okay in the so in here if I didn't miss anything, we should be all set. I'm going to validate it, and it's validated. I'm going to save. I'm going to go to the receive JMSQ messages process. I'm going to make this guy a receiver. So right-click, add resource, JMS, JMSQ receiver. Notice that the start activity ch changed into a JMSQ receiver. This will now be a listening process or a listener process, uh, what, what we refer to in typical world. 
So I'm basically just going to connect this to the end activity. We'll see this run and pick up the message. This process right here will pick up any messages that will be sent over to the queue that we're going to send messages to. So in the same manner, I'm going to, to give a reference to the JMS connection resource. And I'm going to have this listen on the queue that sample queue destination queue okay I'm going very fast so let me review I have a send JMS queue message process that has a JMS queue sender which will be sending to the queue dot sample queue it is going to send hello world and I have another process with a JMS queue receiver listening on that same queue. So let's let's validate this guy to see, make sure it works. Let's save and let us go ahead and run these two processes. Let's go to tester, click on the green, and I'm going to clear all first, make sure nothing else is selected. And I'm going to check both of them. I'm going to have them both run. I'm going to click on load selected. You'll notice that they're both listed in the tester. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start, I'm going to create a new job, a new process instance for this JMS queue sender and we'll see what happens. Okay? So here we go, create a job. There, okay. So as you can see, over here, our JMS queue sender activity executed. It sent hello world okay, to the queue.sample. On the other process, you'll notice that the JMS queue receiver woke up because it detected a queue message in the queue.sample queue. So that it woke up, it started a new process instance, received that queue, and acknowledged to EMS that it received it. And therefore, you can do whatever from then on. So that, my friends, is JMS queue sending and receiving. You use, in order to send, you use a JMS queue sender. In order to receive, you use a JMS queue receiver. Now, you can also you, you send and receive topic messages. Uh, the more appropriate term for that is publishing and subscribing. But that will probably be for another video what is the difference between a topic and a queue now you can probably look that up in Google okay so I just wanted to show you how to send and receive JMS messages in TIBCO so once again thank you for watching this video tutorial on how to send and receive JMS messages this is Jason Semeliano once again from Smarter Incorporated thank you for watching and thank you for all your support.